Hello my dear students in this lecture we are going to see introduction to the electronics and as well as field Now this is the first lecture on electrodynamics electrodynamics is also called electromagnetism so let us understand the concept see any matter is made with the help of atom that everyone knows right all the matters are made with the help of atoms and these atoms are generally spherical like this they are like football right the atoms are spherical in shape like football and the center of atom is called nucleus of that atom center of atom is called nucleus of that atom this point everyone knows right and my dear students these spherical atoms contains protons neutrons and electrons this you have studied in school level also right and my dear students proton means it is having positive charge then neutron means it is having zero charge there is no charge and electron means it is having negative charge and these electrons are revolving around this nucleus in the orbit right now this bohr's model you have already studied but here our target is to not to study this all concepts here we have to study the electrodynamics and for proper understanding of electrodynamics we have to study the fields and different types of fields right now then see charge is quantized in terms of charge of electrons means to specify charge the charge of electron is used and on one electron this term you must remember this is your this is also from your 12th standard physics the charge on one electron is nothing but 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb this you must remember and any charge is specified in terms of charge on electrons right means in terms of charge will be see this is also called q this is also called q charge on, on one electron is q means the charge is always q or 2q or 3q 4q 5q likewise and one q is nothing but or one charge on one electron is nothing but 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb now my dear students if two separate charges are taken together then there will be a electric field so separated charges produce electric field and whenever any charge moves right whenever there is a motion of any charge or motion of charges generate currents and because of this current there is a magnetic field so this electric field magnetic field or there are more number of such fields there is a gravitational field there is a electrical field there is a magnetic field so in a general we have to study all these fields so first of all we have to define what is the field so write down a note field now let us understand what is the exact meaning of field i have written here definition but before start of this definition let us understand see my dear students this field is always real many times students think that field is imaginary no it is real field is it is always real right therefore i am writing here field is a real quantity or a real term or real understanding right now my dear students see if i whenever we talk about the space now space is nothing but free from the all types of field space is free from free from all types of fields all types of fields right this is called space now my dear students if you think your room as a space then you are thinking wrong because in your room there is a gravitational field you are doing all your activities in the gravitational field on you always there is a gravitational force or not that is mass into acceleration due to gravity means here your room is not a space space means where there is no field it is free from all types of field there is no electrical field there is no magnetic field there is no gravitational field or there is no any other type of field such such condition is called space right now let us understand the definition of this field field is defined as field is the region in space now this space and this space is different this space means outside atmosphere see i will highlight the space see this space means outside atmosphere now here field is nothing but now this space is nothing but space in your room or it may be a space anywhere right now see field is a region in space in which physical quantity is well defined at all points at a given instant of time this is a general definition now in this definition we have to understand a few terminology right now see field is a region in space in which physical quantity this we have to understand what is the meaning of physical quantity now so write down physical quantity now my dear students see there are various types of physical quantities such as if i talk about velocity velocity is one of the physical quantity velocity is one of the physical quantity 
then if i discuss about temperature temperature is also one of the physical quantity then we can be having electrical field that is e field we can be having magnetic field that is b field magnetic field is represented by b field right these are all physical quantities we can be having density we can be having force right all these are the physical quantities so field is a region in space in which physical quantity is well defined so what is the meaning of well defined that also we have to understand so my dear students write down well defined right these physical quantities are well defined and to define anything properly or if it is well defined then the physical quantity must be here we can say well defined means physical quantity physical quantity must be must be there are three conditions number one is single valued number one is single valued it must be having only one value that physical quantity will be having only one value single value right then it must be continuous the same physical quantity must be continuous right it should not be determinant it should be continuous and then it must be definite it must be definite right these are the three well defined means the physical quantity must be single valued it will be having only one value it is a continuous as well as it is well defined means it is a definite we can say it is a definite or well defined right for example if i consider one charge q let us say this charge q now around this charge q we can define the field around this charge q we can define the field but at the location of charge q the field is not defined because it is indefinite it is not defined field is not defined at the location of charge q at this particular point field cannot be defined because it is indefinite but around the charge q we can define the field because it is definite around this charge q right likewise you can understand see such a basics what is the charge all these things you have already studied in physics right in 11th standard and 12th standard physics now let us understand again definition of field field is region in space in which physical quantity is region in space means means field is a function of space field is a function of space let me write with given data therefore this field will be the function of function of space first point then in which physical quantity is well defined at all points at a given instant of time means at a given instant of time means as time changes field may change therefore field is a function of space and time therefore any field is expressed as a mathematical function of space and time so pause the video and note down this statement right any field can be expressed as a mathematical function of space and time such as therefore this field we can say field is a function of space is nothing but x direction y direction and z direction this is called space and time is represented by t therefore this x y z is nothing but space we can move along x direction y direction and z direction this is a space and t is a time therefore any field is a function of space and time see if it is space independent then it depends only on time if it is time independent then it depends only on the space right and sometimes the field may depend on both space as well as time therefore generally in vector form the space is represented by r bar let us say this function of vector r and time right this is a field now let us understand the example see if i talk about the gravitational field so write down gravitational field now if i discuss about the gravitational field now this gravitational field is a function of only space it is a function of only space and it is not a function of time means we can say independent of time independent of time means as location changes then only gravitational field changes let us discuss about the earth let us say this is the earth so on surface of earth the acceleration due to gravity is taken as 9.81 meter per second square on surface of earth the acceleration due to gravity is considered as 9.81 meter per second square and as we go outside as we go away from the surface of earth this acceleration due to gravity decreases as again i go on this acceleration due to gravity goes on decreasing and as i go towards center of earth then also this acceleration due to gravity goes on decreasing and at center of earth acceleration due to gravity is zero means as the location changes this acceleration due to gravity changing means gravitational field is changing but with respect to time at particular location the field is always same means with respect to time 
the field is not changing therefore this gravitational field is a function of only space and it is independent of time let us understand another magnetic field of earth if i discuss about magnetic field of earth magnetic field of earth right this magnetic field of earth is a function of space as well as time it is a function of both space that is x y z as well as time t as well as time t because see my dear students the magnetic field is generally because of the molten metal which is present at the center of earth or at earth earth core see in the earth core earth core means center of earth let us say this earth core i will show here at center there will be up to this location there is a molten metal right molten metal and the my dear students because of this molten metal only there is a magnetic field in the earth and slowly slowly with respect to time this molten metal is solidifying means it is becoming a solid means this molten metal is decreasing therefore this magnetic field is also decreasing slowly slowly with respect to time right therefore this magnetic field is a function of both space and time therefore magnetic field of the earth is dependent on the time also right this is regarding the field therefore this definition is very important and you must remember that the field is a region in space in which physical quantity and what is the meaning of physical quantity physical quantity can be velocity temperature electric field magnetic field is well defined and what is the meaning of well defined it is having single valued it is a continuous and it is a definite right and it is a function of space and time these all points you must remember and my dear students basically there are two types of field that we have to learn in our syllabus see there are various types of fields but for our syllabus we have to basically learn two types of fields now which are the two types of field we have to learn these are the first is scalar field first field we have to learn is scalar field and second field we have to learn is vector field these are two types of fields we have to learn for our syllabus right now my dear students so these fields are classified on the basis of nature of physical quantity see on the basis of nature of physical quantities such as velocity temperature electric field magnetic field the fields are classified into two types that is one scalar field and vector field so for proper understanding of electrodynamics topic we have to understand what is the meaning of scalar field and vector field very properly so my dear students in next lecture we are going to learn this scalar field and vector field thank you dear students in next lecture we will start scalar field and vector field